so i'm just gonna jump straight into it the first thing that i'm doing is hot combing my edges back on my wig to make sure all of the hair is out of the way before i start bleaching and these are kind of like the dark knots on the wig we're gonna be bleaching these today to make them kind of like a light brown color so that they match better with my skin tone so the bleach I'm using is Clairol BW2 and Salon Care 40 Volume Developer. This is my favorite developer. You can get this from Sally's. You're also going to need a hair dye brush to apply this bleach to your lace. Um, so in this um, bleach, it comes with like a scoop that you can use to scoop up the bleach. And I like to use two scoops of this bleach. I find that that's the perfect amount for my 13 by 4 frontal wigs. And then I'm going to take the developer and I am applying a small amount of this at a time, not too much because you do want the consistency to be like really thick, not too thick, but like kind of like sour cream. If you find that you add too much developer and it becomes watery, you can add more bleach to kind of balance it out and make it thicker. And you do want to take your time with this because in my opinion, I think that bleaching the knots on the wig is like the most important part of customizing a wig because if your knots are bleached really well, it can blend so much better with your skin tone. So I am applying the bleach to the corner of the brush. I just think it makes it so much easier to apply to the lace like this. And towards the front of the hairline, I'm trying to be very gentle because the knots at the very front of the hairline are a lot thinner than the knots towards the middle and towards the back of the lace. So you wanna take your time with this as well, not to be too heavy handed, not to be too heavy with the bleach as well. You want this to be a very even layer throughout the entire lace. And I do recommend you wear gloves while you do this, but me girl, I don't listen. And I feel like gloves just slow me down. But I 100% recommend you to wear gloves. Like be safe, be careful. <laughs> don't live life on the edge like me. I'm just playing. <laughs> So once you're done, it should kind of look something like this. As y'all can tell, the knots were the only thing that got bleached, the only thing that's covered in bleach. And I like to let that sit for 28 minutes. And now I'm just rinsing all of that bleach out. And y'all, look at how this came out. This method turns out perfect every single time. If you do 28 minutes and you use the perfect consistency of bleach, you cannot mess this up. Like, you can't. So now I'm going to take this Shimmer Light Shampoo just to get rid of like any brassiness or like any type of golden color that the bleach might have left. I don't really think this step is that necessary. I do recommend it because it kind of tones the color down a little bit and makes it more neutral. And I'm putting this towards the front of the hairline. I'm really focusing it on the front of the hairline and I'm also going to add it to the back of the lace as well. So after that, I just kind of like to let the hair sit for about eight minutes and then I go ahead and I rinse it out and condition the hair as well. And this is how it came out. So amazing. I love how this looks. I get perfect results every single time. And now I'm about to start plucking. So I'm just hot combing the hair back to get like a good foundation first before I actually start plucking the front of this wig, girl. I know that in my old customization video that I did with the closure, I actually plucked the wig while the hair was still wet, but now I pluck the wig while it's dry. This way I can see like exactly how it's gonna come out. When it's wet, you can't really see the full results because you have to wait for the hair to dry. And sometimes you can end up over plucking it and sometimes you cannot pluck enough. So I just do it while the hair is dry now so I can see the full potential like while I'm doing it. So this is Nadula hair and so far I'm really loving this wig, um, especially the lace on it. I think that the lace is so transparent and I think this is a HD lace if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to have to go back and check. I love that the wig is pre-plucked as well because it makes it easier for beginners when you actually first start learning how to pluck a wig. 
So the tweezers that I'm going to be using today are my Revlon tweezers. By the way, I did part this hair down the middle on my actual head. You want to make sure it's perfectly in the middle if you are going to be doing a middle part. And on each side of the wig, I like to work in two sections. So this section, I'm doing the bottom half of the hairline. So I'm kind of moving the tweezers up and down to not over pluck one specific area. And after I've been plucking for a little minute, I like to take my comb and comb the hair back to get rid of the excess shedding. So I know exactly how much I've plucked off. And your main thing is just to not over pluck. Like you would rather have a under pluck wig than an over plucked one because if you over pluck that's it you can't add more hair so take your time with this and um, make sure you're combing the hair back so that you see exactly how much you've plucked so far so that you don't pluck too much that you don't need to pluck So now I'm plucking like the top part of this side. I'm not plucking directly at the front of the hair. I'm kind of going behind the hairline, not exactly at the front. So this is how it looks with the baby hairs and this is without the baby hairs looks really really good not too much but a good amount and i'm just gonna go ahead and switch to my other side and repeat that step that i did on the first side So once I'm done with that, I'm going to hot comb these edges and the hairline. I like to do all this before I put it on my head. It just makes it way easier whenever it comes time for me to actually install the wig. And this is a Andis hot comb. I always use it on the hottest setting. You can literally see like the steam is so hot. Then I'm gonna take my wax stick and put it on the top so I can really get this wig flat. Somebody in my last video told me that my wig wasn't flat enough. So uh, we're gonna make this wig super flat just for you sis because you tried to play me, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna make this wig super flat. Like y'all gonna see whenever I installed this wig, it was hella flat. So this is the wig after I straightened it and I don't know if I told y'all but I did dye this wig jet black so that's why it looks very black. I have a video on my channel on how I dye my wig so if y'all haven't already seen that make sure y'all check that out. And today I'm doing a ball cap method. So to do my ball cap methods, I'm using my olive oil super hole fix it spray. And I'm putting that along my hairline. And then I blow dry that on a hot setting. And I'm going to cut this excess um, cap off. I'm sure most of y'all know how a ball cap method works. <laughs> but if you don't, then I wanted to include this in the video so y'all can see how I do mine. Now it's not perfect, but it does work for me. So after I do that, as y'all can tell, it's kind of little bits um, sticking out like on the edges. So I'm going to take some of my wig grip gel and this metal comb and I'm just kind of pushing the um, edges of the cap down so that you can't really see 
that excess sticking up. So now I'm going to take some makeup so that the cap blends better with my skin tone. Some people do this before they actually cut the cap off, but I like to do it this way. I just think it works better for me like this. And some of the makeup did get on my skin and I'm just taking some alcohol to remove that off of my skin before I start applying my wig to my head. This is how the wig looks and right now I'm just kind of feeling it out and seeing where I want it to go, where I want it to be positioned, how far the hairline is going to come. Um, you definitely want to do this before you start gluing everything down because you might have to cut some cap off, which I didn't. But yeah, to apply my wig, I'm using my olive oil wig grip gel and a popsicle stick. And I'm just applying this halfway on the wig cap and halfway on my skin. So I'm blow drying this on a warm setting and I'm letting it get tacky before I actually apply the lace into the gel. And after it gets to a good, a good stickiness, <laughs> I'm just taking the lace and I'm pulling it down. I'm pulling the hairline down to the furthest part of where the gel extended. And then I'm blow drying this on a cool setting so that it doesn't appear white or get like hard and flaky. And then I go ahead and I do the other side. So then I'm cutting these slits into the lace to create these small sections. It just makes it easier for me to cut this lace off. And I'm using an eyebrow razor. I always use an eyebrow razor to cut my lace off so that the lace doesn't be like just a straight line whenever I use scissors. So then I'm just going to um, pull my baby hairs out. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's kind of like a little gap from where my baby hair is to the hairline. And me personally, I love that. I just think it makes it look a little more natural, but that's just my opinion. So to secure this wig even further, I'm gonna take that olive oil super hole spray and spray where you kind of see that little gap at. And then I'm gonna tie this down with an elastic band for about 15 minutes. As y'all can see, I kind of put layers in this hair. I just think it looks so cute. To cut my baby hairs off, I use a hair cutting comb. This is what I use to create those layers in my hair. And I'm laying my baby hairs with this super hole spray and just laying them to my liking. You can do your baby hairs how you want to do your baby hairs. This is how I like mine. Um, everybody has their own preferences. I like them to be kind of thick or like not really thick, but I like very visible baby hairs. Um, but if you like yours thin, obviously you do thinner baby hairs, you'll make them shorter. So do them to your liking. And I like a super clean straight part. So I'm gonna take some concealer and this is the concealer I would use on my face. This is LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and this angled slanted brush. So 
so this is the end of the video i hope this video was helpful for y'all i hope y'all learn how to bleach plug customize so you can slay period <laughs> also i want to tell y'all that nadula hair is having a huge event from june 7th to june 11th where they're going to be having a bunch of wigs on sale and discounted so you don't want to miss out on that i'm going to leave that link in the description box down below as well as the link to this wig this is a 24 inch 13 by 4 lace front wig so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in my next video